Hey Dollyverse, it's Gypsy. You're watching Broken Dolly TV. And if you haven't already checked out the first part in the series, go ahead and watch that video before you watch the rest of this one. Um, my daughter Jayu Jackson wanted to do the initial box opening and first impressions for these dolls. I haven't seen her so excited to open up some Barbie dolls until these girls came in. We got four of these dolls. And to be honest, I don't remember which one is which as far as the numbers, but they all had numbers one through five assigned to them and that tell Mattel is telling the dolls apart. I know that Jayu Jackson pointed out a couple things that she noticed when she opened up the box and took everything out. I just wanna add a little bit more to that by uh, iterating the things that I noticed about these dolls. Now, normally we do a full review, I'm but going, I'm opting I'm not, not to do that with these dolls because I feel like it's just going to be redundant and I want to give you guys the information that we don't know about the dolls, right? So one of the things that stood out to me about these dolls was how totally difficult it was to get them out of the boxes. It took us, me and Jay working together, it took us like a full 30 minutes or something trying to get the dolls out of the box. Um, there was a lot of plastic and a lot of things just kind of like just stuck together and even this doll her her uh elbow is like there's tape under there double-sided tape under her sleeve that's keeping the arm in place so that it doesn't roll down it's just too much like if this is supposed to be marketed to children i don't understand why they put so much just tape like they just did so much to tap these dolls down to the boxes and it was so ridiculous I don't understand that. I've, I haven't had to rip my dolls out of boxes in this fashion for years now. Like, I don't even understand. So when they said Barbie extra, like, that was extra. <laughs> it took us extra long to get these dolls out the boxes, okay? Another thing I noticed about the dolls is that they are different body types. And the curvy dolls do not have articulation in their ankles. So they're just flat-footed. This one and this one, these two are curvy and they have flat feet. And then the regular body types, the original body types, I should say, they have high heeled feet and there are no joints. So you cannot interchange their shoes. That was kind of unexpected. I'm not complaining though, because I actually prefer for my dolls to not have joints in their ankles because the ankle joints are flimsy and you can't balance the dolls with the shoes on very good sometimes depending on what kind of shoes they have on so i would just prefer for them to be just sturdy and that's why i don't mind that but for some of you that could be a deal breaker if you're trying to find dolls to use for body donors and things like that another thing that was a little disappointing was that it seems like even though these dolls are hyped up to be barbie extra there wasn't really that much extra that these dolls came with that i thought warranted the 30 dollars price point like I don't understand what is making these dolls worth that much. Now, they're not, they're being retailed at like 25 and some change, but after you do taxes, shipping and handling, you're just about paying $30 for each doll. So I don't really understand why they hyped it up this much because I don't really see what they came with that was so extra. The, the dog toys, like they didn't have good um, balance and they have like, purses and sunglasses and earrings like this is stuff that fashionistas come with so i i didn't really get that part you know and then some of the pieces that i saw they were like repeat pieces that i've seen in other fashion packs or fashionistas dolls for example these little sunglasses that came with the little asian one there these we already saw these in the bmr collection those sunglasses that she's got on, I've seen those already in um, just in different colors with Fashionistas dolls. They're like the aviator style glasses. And this big chunky thing here, like that looks like something I've seen before too, along with her little chain here that she's got on. I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but the reason why to me it is a big deal is because if you're gonna market something as extra than what you normally do, I don't wanna see one piece that looks like a repeat of anything else you've done before. You feel me? So that's a little bit kind of makes me feel kind of skeptical about the hype behind these dolls, like the headphones. We've seen these headphones a million times. They're not impressive. 
I'm not, I don't need another pair of headphones. Like, it's not that serious. You know, if the headphones looked different, then I wouldn't be saying this. It's not that they're headphones, it's that they look just like the other headphones we've already seen. I don't want to see pieces like that when I'm, <laughs> when I'm going after something that's being marketed as extra, you feel me? And is it just me? I feel like this is a familiar style that I've seen and I can't quite pinpoint where, what doll, but I swear I've seen this somewhere before. So I have some plans for these dolls just to spruce them up a little bit and I will get to that. But before we do that, I want to do a quick scan of their skin tones and figure out what um, other dolls may be possible head swappers for these guys. And then we'll talk about their uh, articulation level as well. Yeah, these, these dolls were like a mess. They were a hot mess the way that they were packaged. They just, their hair was like all over the place. She had a big chunk of hair already missing from her head in the packaging. <laughs> and this one, they tried to give her like the two Afro Puffs ponytails, the pigtails, but look at how, just look at how crazy that looks. It looks like she got into a cat fight and it doesn't help that her jacket is really furry. So it's just making her look like a straight up, like a crazy hobo. <laughs> I swear, yo, she looked like, she looked like the neighborhood bag lady right about now. Like, I don't know. That's not cute. Like, what? I don't get it, you guys. This is so hilarious to me. Oh my gosh. This is crazy looking. Just the delivery could be a lot better. The only one I didn't find major flaws or like weird stuff going on with was this doll. Except that her dog, his head was so heavy that he couldn't stand up straight on his own body that well. But I'm not sweating that too much because I didn't get these for the pets. I have no interest in the pets. I already promised the pets to my daughter, so she's gonna be playing with those. I'm only interested in the dolls and the stuff they came with. I'm filling her shoes straight up. These look like some Timberland high heel boots that I used to sell when I used to manage a sneaker store. And I own some shoes like this. I own two pairs of shoes like this in different colors. So that reminds me of um, some real shoes and I think I only have I don't have any doll shoes like this so this is definitely what I would say is extra even though I'm not usually with the mermaid look I'm feeling her hair I love the way that they did the braids that looks really like professional they did a good job feeding in them braids because cornrows is not easy to do and I don't know how to do it <laughs> so I might have to keep her hair like this for a little while because I really like it I have this doll's head sculpt in another doll. Ironically, she also has rainbow hair. And this is my rainbow sparkle Barbie. And she, I have more dolls with this head sculpt, but she's the only one of them that's in my A-list of dolls because I just love the way that they did her face. Oh, come on, don't do that. Don't do that. Why don't you stay still? I love the way that they did her face. So she's my favorite one of the ones that I've had so far. But this one is a definite contender. She's about to be the new favorite because I think they did an even better job on her face up. And she definitely looks different from her. I mean, I can I can recognize the sculpt as soon as I see it, but still, she just looks different. They don't look like the same person, just wearing like a different hairstyle. So I'm very impressed with this one. I think I might like her the best out of all of them. And her skin tone is actually a shade lighter than the doll next to her who's on a yellow top body. So I believe that this one is the Nikki skin tone. Okay, so this is my Luciana doll and she's got an orange top body and these two seem to be a skin tone match. So if you need to get her head on a made to move, you wanna go with the orange top skin tone shade. Orange top is interchangeable with the skateboarder. And if you have any dancer dolls laying around with a curvy body type, you may be able to get away with the skin tone on that body too. Okay, and then homegirl here. I do not have any dolls right now that I can pull out that have this head sculpt so I can show you um, the comparison, but she is definitely the same sculpt as Fancy Flowers, which I think that sculpt is called Chandra. I don't know if that's the official Mattel name or if it's a nickname that the um, that the fans are giving it, but I believe that's what they're calling her. And I do not like this hair at all. I don't like it at all. I like the way that it looks, but I do not like the way this feels. It feels really 
weird. Like, it, something about it don't feel the same as the usual Barbie hair that we we're dealing with. Um, for some reason, this hair feels like it's going to be tangled up if you try to, like, manipulate it. And it is really long. I can tell that the length, when you pull the hair strand down, look at how far it goes. It's going way past, like, it's all the way down to her ankle. So if you straighten this hair, assuming it could handle being straightened, this would be a really long length. However, because of how big the curls are, I'm a little skeptical about the root job. I, I can see her scalp underneath. I don't know how that bun at the top of her head is going to look if it gets taken down. Because I don't even know if this is the same texture. This might be straight hair that they used to get this bun looking tighter. But something about this hair ain't right, y'all. It's not... <laughs> I know you guys who are like really paying attention, really critical collectors as soon as you feel this hair you know what i'm talking about is something about this hair is not quite what's up i don't know i don't know you guys i hope i'm just imagining this like there's no gel in it it's not crispity crunchy but it's just way too springy and light like something about it is weird uh, i don't trust this um fiber disney star doll's hair is not as bad as hasbro but that hair is not what's and then up this one i'm also concerned about her hair because i noticed that she's got tinsel rooted into her head this part looks so unnatural and stiff oh my gosh she looks like she's wearing a wig like I did not expect for this hair to be like this. The hair fibers are so thin. They're so lightweight. Like, see how the hair is just kind of floating? That's bizarre. It's just bizarre. Like, I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on with Mattel, but this was a surprise to me. I didn't expect this. The problem with the tinsel is that these weird little plastic fibers are getting caught between her hair strands. So when you try to comb through the hair, it gets it's just getting caught in the comb so you got to be so careful and then i see parts of the tinsel that's trying to like wave or curl up see this it looks crazy next to the straight hair like it looks almost like really frizzy so this is not a cute look up close and personal that's how long her hair is it goes all the way down to her ankles i mean that's cool that they gave her long hair but it isn't the point of the long hair so you can style it and stuff. It just looks so inconvenient to style. And most likely, if you're trying to do anything significant with this doll's hair, you probably will end up having to cut it because it's just flying all over the place and getting in the way. Gee whiz, Liz. But I'm going to try to keep her hair long as long as I can stand to. Um, I, I love her face. She She's really cute. Like she To me, she looks very Asian-esque. But she could still pass for Latina. She could pass for a lot of different stuff. Like she could pass for like a really light skinned black girl too. Because they use the Mbilly head sculpt for her. Um, which in this scale, I think you might even be able to get away with saying it's a grace. That face just has a very black American facial sculpt. And this is the same head sculpt here. And it just looks like a natural black girl's face. So they gave her that sculpt so she could actually be like so many different races even though she's very light toned. She's pale like a um, purple top doll. You could totally get away with saying that she's something else like some bizarre mix of races. I've seen girls who are half Polish and half like Chinese that look like this and they're really pretty. Hawaiian girls, I don't know, she could be a lot of different races. So I do like the sculpt. And you can't go wrong with that sculpt. You gotta go out of your way to make the doll ugly for that sculpt to not turn out, right? This one's a trickier sculpt, I think, to pull off. To really make her, like, look cute. Um, cause this head mold, the previous versions that I've seen, they don't really look cute. They just look like a, a decent, well-put-together girl, you know? But I wouldn't say she's cute. Like, she's cute. But this one is not really just a cute sculpt. But this version of her, I think they did something very different with it. It's not just because of the blue hair. I mean, it's the texture of the hair. She's got freckles. Look at the freckles on her face. That's pretty neat. I love freckles. Her eyes are a very light shade 
color as well, which makes it so unique because her skin tone is brown. She's the same skin tone as the rainbow haired one that I showed you, who's the orange top skin tone. These two are the same skin tone, but this one is curvy. And I have another curvy doll. I'm gonna try and compare her body to to see what's different. I already noticed, of course, that she doesn't have ankle joints. She's got the same head sculpt as the curvy Carl one, the big headed Carl. And this is the sculpt, and she kind of looks just like this Fashionistas doll. Like, <laughs> the hair is very similar. She's got the same texture of the puffs, and the same face, of course. And the face up doesn't look that much different. It just looks like she just has a little bit more makeup on. The biggest difference is in their skin tones, because this one has the made to move yellow top skin tone. This one has a darker skin tone. These guys are actually very, very close in complexion. And this one is a little lighter, like a shade lighter. So these guys are closer in complexion than this one is to them. So there's a difference in their skin tones. Another thing I think you guys are probably gonna be surprised to hear me say is that I didn't like that these dolls do not come with doll stands. I feel like they're so funky and like the way that they're styled, they look so cool that I can't believe they don't come with doll stands. <laughs> and they're $25, so I had to like put these dolls temporarily on stands that I already have. But I feel like for the hype, because they're supposed to be Barbie Extra, they should just by default come with the doll stands. And I don't understand why they didn't. I'm not looking for a fancy stand, just something simple, but these are the kinds of dolls I would think you would want to see on a stand or be able to like support themselves on display just because their outfits are so cool looking. So I don't get that. I don't know why Mattel didn't just give us some stands cause especially this one with her skateboard. I mean, that's pretty cool that she's got a skateboard and the wheels actually turn and everything. So I would have liked to put her on a stand that she could have been posing on her skateboard with. Again, you know I'm not nitpicking because I don't even like stands, you guys, most of the time. I don't even care that there's stands coming with certain dolls because I know I'm not trying to display them like that. But these, I just felt like, I don't know. I just feel like, Mattel, what was all the hype? <laughs> what was that all so, about? To you be know? honest, I'm usually very excited to take off the clothes and look at the bodies and do all that stuff. I don't feel like that with these dolls right now because I feel like it's gonna be a hot mess and like just I'm scared of what I'm gonna find as I'm trying to like take each layer of clothing off. <laughs> but another thing I do really like about these dolls is they didn't all dress them in dresses and skirts. Thank you, finally, somebody's listening. They have on pants. Even though they're shorts and we know the shorts are just, it takes less uh, fabric for them to make so it's more cost effective. So again, it's like they're trying to skimp a little bit, but <laughs> that's okay. I will deal with not having the long pants just for having pants at all. And I really like that at least these two on the ends come with socks, these tall socks. I love socks for my dolls. I really like try to collect them as much as I can because they're so hard to find but they always bring more realism to the doll's outfits when you're redressing them. So I freaking love that they come with socks. And I'm so feeling this jacket. That's like the main thing that I liked about this doll that I really wanted to see her jacket. Oh, this would be so dope if you could wear it inside out. If it was like reversible, oh my gosh. I would probably try to pull that off in a picture maybe, but yo, this is a dope jacket. And look, it's very plain. It's not a bunch of different graphics and things on it. So that's what's up. She has one of those little fanny pack things over her um, chest. And this Based dress, I was just looking at a dress that I had put on one of my dolls today that I got specifically for the cut of the front, the collar part. And I'm like, I, I never had a dress like that for my dolls. And I'm really surprised that she, her dress is like that. I didn't even realize that when I was looking at the pictures but her dress is so noisy. <laughs> it's like plastic. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, the quality of some of the stuff that is on these dolls, like some of the materials they use are questionable, okay? But <laughs> if you're trying to dish out full price for these dolls, absolutely don't be buying them on eBay for no $100, okay? 
please don't play yourself. Them prices, that's ridiculous. It's not worth it. I don't even think these dolls are worth $25, to be honest. I feel like $20 is a good price for what you're getting. But, bro, like, <laughs> don't do it, you guys. Do not do it. You're going to regret it because, uh-uh, there's too much stuff going on here that the quality, you have to be kind of, you got to, you got to, it's questionable, all right? Okay, I figured out what is, uh, like, going on with this hair that's freaking me out. This hair feels just like Fresh Dolls hair. Fresh Dolls do not use the same quality of Saran that Barbie normally uses on their fashionistas and collector type dolls. It's a more like coarse kind of a um, fiber and it's really lightweight. This feels just like that hair. Oh my gosh. Like, I hope that's not what this is. I hope I'm bugging. I really hope that I'm just seeing things or like, going crazy right now because if this is that kind of hair barbie what is going on like that's a downgrade are you kidding me that's a downgrade from a fashionistas and those are the cheapest playline dolls that have any level of like quality to them worth talking about you know so i really hope and pray that i'm wrong you guys but this feels just like that hair and i don't really like that texture of hair because eventually I feel like it's going to mat up or get like tangled up with each other and it's really hard to detangle and style and control that hair. I swear that hair feels just like that hair, but I don't know, it's a little thin too. Y'all, I don't know, their hair is questionable, I'm sorry. I gotta tell you the truth, it's questionable. This is regular Saran, this I can tell. See like, Y'all, you guys, I have Asperger's, okay? My sense, my sensory <laughs> stuff is kind of really overboard, so I know I'm not imagining this. I wish I was imagining it. That's the problem. I wish that I'm wrong, but I just know I'm not. I know I'm not wrong. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is crazy, you guys. How are you going to market a doll to be all extra and then charge $25, $30 for these things? But skimp on the quality of the hair like i don't even care about all the stuff that she came with it's the doll itself that i'm trying to keep pristine and do what i'm trying to do with like bro oh my god <laughs> anyways each individual piece of their clothing and the accessories they all look like they're usable i can get a lot of wear out of them i noticed that she's got on these what i call the harachis they look just like the shoes that my BMR Blazing Girl came with. And um, hers were pink and this one is like a neon yellow color. That's pretty cool. I, I like when I see Barbie shoes that look like real shoes. So these definitely look like some Harachis. Go ahead and check out our new merch that's available. You've seen some of the designs here on the channel, but we also have totally new designs that Jinu has been working on for you guys. So those are big people clothes. Some of them is gonna match the stuff that we'll have for your dolls. So go ahead and check that out, browse through it, get familiar with it. Make sure you take a picture of yourself wearing your merch and upload it to Instagram or Facebook and tag Broken Dolly TV so we can show off your pictures here on our channel and our upcoming videos. All right, Dollyverse, we'll see you in the next episode right here on Broken Dolly TV. Thanks for watching and have a Dolly day. Look at this, her plastic bag dress. That's what it sounds like. What? It's cute though, it looks pretty, it's iridescent, but everybody gonna know she can't sneak up on nobody. It looks like at the end of Zoolander when he was um walking around with the, uh, Mugatu clothes and those like homeless wear. <laughs> <laughs> bag lady on Vogue. <laughs> Made out of an actual bag. Oh man, that's hilarious. Which I could damn candy wrapper. <laughs> It's a mess, but that's your issue. And I got a pistol, cock for the terrorists. I'm on the MC's terror list, cause they terrified. Fucking derelicts. Why that nigga Nas lied and said hip hop had died, man? I couldn't tell you. All I know is niggas would do anything to sell records. And at the end of the day, I can't blame them.